This pepper sticks recipe is so delicious and very easy to make. Hey friends, I'm Chef Wainaina. Let's start this dish. For this pepper steak recipe, I have this piece of scat steak that is about 1.5 pound. This is a fairly tender cut of beef. We're gonna open this. Get some paper towel and just pat it dry. That's very important. For this kind of recipe, you wanna be careful how the grains of the steak run. You can see they run just across. Gonna cut this beef on a bias across the grain so that we just improve the tenderness. So you wanna just go thin. You can actually just cut this in half. The grains run along this way, so I wanna cut across so that when you're chewing, it's much easier. And then I'm just going to cut them into fairly thin pieces. So this is very good cut of beef, nicely marbled, and this has very good flavors. Actually a very good piece for grilling too. Still with the beef on the cutting board, some salt, black pepper, I just don't want to do extra cleanup. I'm going to sprinkle this with some rice flour. You can do regular flour, but I'm looking to do a dish today actually that is gluten free. Let's bring all this together. Just coat the beef with the rice flour. Rice flour is gluten free. Cornstarch is gluten free. The reason that I'm using the rice flour too, because I'm doing a batch cooking. This is a dish that I'm going to save in the freezer and cornstarch is not very good for reheating. So when you combine it with the rice flour, it makes it easier when you reheat, the sauce will still be stable. So that's a good tip. Now for the veggies, three peppers, a white onion. Nothing better than a sharp knife when you're working in the kitchen. Take out that sticker. Julienne the peppers or cut them into matchsticks. Absolutely no waste. This is cooking at home. I always emphasize no fanciness, if that is English. So take this and just, just like so, nice, fairly medium julienne or matchstick, and I'll do the rest of the peppers. Onto a holding container. We need one onion, peel and slice it. Just make sure the onions are separated. And then this will be mixed with the peppers. I always encourage to eat with your eyes and colors mostly translate into more nutrients. By the way, thank you friends for all your support. I just received my silver award. I'm just so happy and I'm just so thankful to have you on my channel, each and every one of you. I'm just so thankful.
Now, with all the prep work done, it's a good time now to start making our pepper steak dish. Add two tablespoons of vegetable oil into this pan and let it heat. Add the beef and make sure every piece touches the bottom of the pan. Just turn each piece of the beef to make sure that it's all nicely browned. And by the time this beef is browned, it's actually almost cooked. So you also want to be careful you don't overcook it. So remove this beef onto this plate, set it aside, and do the other batch. This beef is all browned onto the pan, peppers, onions, Season a touch, salt and pepper. We just want to slightly soften these peppers and onions. Our peppers here have slightly softened. Add a tablespoon of garlic, ginger, tablespoon, a half a teaspoon of tomato paste. Just slightly cook off the ginger and the garlic and caramelize the tomato paste just so slightly. At this point, if you need to add extra vegetable oil, you can. Now return the beef into the pan together with the, all the juices that have accumulated. Add about three tablespoons of tamari sauce. This is gluten-free soy. A tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. About a quarter teaspoon of sesame oil. A teaspoon of honey, just to bring all the flavors together. Toast this. So remember we use the rice flour in the beginning to coat the beef, so this will thicken the sauce here. I'll give it just a splash of water. And this is basically done. Into this pan, add some of the leftover garlic, ginger, just a touch of vegetable oil, a cup of basmati rice that I rinsed three times in cold water and just left it to soak. Add some salt, just a touch of pepper. Once this comes to a boil, cover, cook for about 15 to 18 minutes, all until the rice is cooked nice and frothy. Reduce the heat. Finish with some scallions, some cilantro, this is headed to the table. Our delicious pepper steak dinner and basmati rice is all cooked. You can serve this family style just as is, or you can serve individually. Look at that beautiful rice. Just fluff it slightly. Mm. So fragrant with the ginger, the garlic. Now to serve, just mound some of this rice. Rice goes onto the plate. Come onto this beautiful pepper steak here. Mound it right on top. This looks like a good portion for me. Garnish with some of these scallions. And just a touch of cilantro. You can use one of them.
So friends, there you have it, our delicious pepper steak that you can do on any day of the week. With this basmati rice, it makes a very comforting dish. Just gonna have to give it a bite here. Mm. How about some peppers with this fluffy rice? So friends, a very quick and easy dish that you can do on any day of the week. Delicious pepper steak recipe with this fluffy basmati rice. It's a dish that you can batch cook, save it in the fridge, or you can even save it in the freezer and you and your family will definitely enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching this one. I hope to see you in the next one. Just remember, please comment, subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up. I will see you in the next one.